talk to our friend meteorologist Katie. Hi, Katie. Hi. So first things first, how have you kept yourself busy over the last year? It's, it's been kind of a wacky year lately. I don't know if you noticed, but how have you kept yourself mm. busy? <laughs> Uh, mostly been getting more into nerddom and fandoms. Uh, I've also continued podcasting. I have my own little YouTube channel, so many random fandoms or smurf oh. as many people have decided to call it as I enjoy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've started up talking about the show Avatar The Last Airbender and we've been doing streams. It's really fun. I've been working on a ton of cosplays, like for real, International Quidditch Association Certified Breakaway <laughs> Broom. Hey, mm -hmm. yeah, very slowly. nice slowly expanding my collection and how did it half, break away half of us are very impressed by this <laughs> and the rest are just oh nerd yeah <laughs> no it's it's great because there's that little bit of a divot here and so when you're running around if you like run headlong into someone it'll actually snap so hmm. you won't impale someone on the quidditch pitch so hmm. if there's ever an actual league anywhere near me uh you'll find me out there it's just on have to yeah healthier Yes, I have also gained much weight over the pan the last oh, no. year. So, uh, <laughs> so what position would you play? A bludger, a seeker, Ooh, keeper. Because I can't yeah. run worth a dime. I I am very slow, so keeper would probably be the best. That's like a goalie, Ryan. I figured yeah. because they call keeper like you know goalies or keepers goalkeeper keeper. as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now that's I've just been getting so much into Quidditch and all these things that probably will never happen, but it's a good way to waste some time. <laughs> but I do think it's interesting that people are doing it for real and like no positions and okay. Oh yeah. How many players are on the field at a time or the, the air or whatever? I believe well, you have two, two meters. Two, two beaters with the bludgers. With the, <laughs> yes. Yeah, the, and then uh, a seeker, and right? And a keeper. And a keeper. And then I think you have three chasers? Yeah. Or is it four? I think it's I seven. I think it's three. Yes, yeah, so seven probably. Interesting. A little asterisk, maybe. <laughs> Although the seekers aren't necessarily on the field all the time. Well, we have to consider the quit the, the golden snitch, which is just mm -hmm. a dude in like a yellow track suit who runs around and you have to you have to catch him. It's great. Oh, we put him to sleep. <laughs> I blame I blame myself. I did it to myself. Uh, Michael is a big uh, Harry Potter fan. Yes. I'm less. So you big can get your own broom too. Well, I've, I've all, I, I wouldn't call myself a huge fan. I've only read all the books and seen all the movies. So, mm. Have you been to the theme park? I, ha I have, yes. yes and there you go. the rides, yeah. You've completed it then. Where's not, the theme not, park? Universal. Universal Orlando. Oh, okay. and they have one I, haven't, in I, haven't, I actually haven't been to they the Orlando one. one. I've been to the Hollywood one. Oh yeah, my gosh, you got to go to the... Oh, the Orlando one is amazing. Have you been to, oh. the, you know, to the Hollywood one? No, I've only been okay. to LA once and I so hated that's, it so, so you much. Don't... <laughs> like, so, I, I gotta go. I, I did a couple of studio tours when I was out there and I just, mm, after almost being attacked in traffic, we're just like, you know, let's head back to the Midwest, guys. Oh, okay, yeah, let's go. That's a thing that happens. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, that's Harry Potter. Beyond that. <laughs> yes. Beyond that, what is the name of your podcast, by the way? Yes. So the one that we have going right now every week, Wednesdays at 630 Eastern, 530 Central, because different time zones. Uh, uh, it is Order of the Blue Lotus, which is a playoff of Order of the White Lotus from Avatar The Last Airbender. And for anyone who isn't familiar, if you like animation or you just want a traumatizingly good story from a children's TV show, check out Avatar The Last Airbender. Not the movie, mm. the show. It's on Netflix. Everyone got back into it for over the past year. So is that a WTF? I feel like yeah. that. Oh my has... gosh, have you not done it? No, I feel like somebody. We have recommend... not. Maybe you're the one that recommended it. Oh, I, I got. I gotta get back in. I have to <laughs> recommend it every single time. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's. It went from oh hey, this is a goofy kids show to genocide in the second episode. <laughs> you're just like. Oh, whoops. spoilers. Oh, come <laughs> on. It's not a spoiler. How do we know even know if we're going to watch the second? Yeah, episode? we might not make it that far. It's in the promos. No, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. You guys got to watch it. The Last Airbender. 
Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah. Yeah, we've definitely seen that mentioned, at least in the chat mm -hmm. or something. Oh, okay. You guys would love it. But and when you watch it, you that, can come on our podcast. All right. <laughs> but besides that, are you what are you working on uh next? You know, like uh yes. that's currently happening. Do you have anything new, big and exciting happening? By the way, what's up with Orville Nation? Have you seen them in a while? Yes, yeah, I've been hanging out with Orville Nation. We're still doing our Dark Matter Mondays uh, awesome. with the creator of the show, which is insane. And now we're reviewing the Orville, getting ready for season three. So excited! Jay Lee stopped by from the show. We were just like, really, oh, that's so cool. They know who we are. But for <laughs> myself, the next big thing is going to be my fan of forecast is finally being able to be revived. You know, the last year we were shut down, we couldn't actually film. And so we filmed last weekend a Doctor Who fandom forecast. Hey. And it's finally in post-production. We're hoping to post it by this weekend. Um, just a few computer glitches we must tinker with but it works actually in the overall theme of the way the forecast went so Wibbly wobbly right timey wimey exactly i mean i i learned how to say raxacoracophilopatorius very quickly um <laughs> it's very difficult to spell but saying it's better so i'm hopefully i'm hopeful everyone will enjoy it and of course my tiktok i'm still trying to grow that i have like a bunch of people now who ask me weather questions which is all i've ever wanted so it's really fun <laughs> Uh, yeah, Michael and I are really working diligently on our TikToks as well. Yeah, it's getting there. No it's way. getting there. I have yeah. to follow you guys then. Uh, Mike made TikTok, a, a TikTok. time joke. There we go. That was good. Oh, yes. <laughs> so uh, Katie's information is going to be in the description box below, guys. Go check it out. She's got so many cool and interesting and amazing things. Her TikTok like blows up with things. Her, her social media yeah. blows up with things. She always does these cool viral stuff. You got to check it out. Oh, yes. Or check it out. But now <laughs> it's, it's time. Very... It's very. It's, oh, I was going to say, it's very, it's very chaotic. But <laughs> I didn't want to catch yes. you.